Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. You miss Masteries? A bit. I no. do sometimes. I also miss runes because you can make really goofy rune pages. Like, I remember I saved up so I could buy Magic Pen in every slot, and I'd run that on Tom Kench, and you walk up a lane and just <laughs> unlash them for like 100 damage level. Well, Arrow is going to come down, but Kellen is going to tank it up. I think he's still just really dead. He's just sort of stunned forever as Pleta actually using that Shield of Daybreak exactly when he needed to. And uh, that is... Want to be able to take this Dragon. So far doing a fair bit of damage to it already. With some control of the Banana Brush, we know that that is the most important thing. And a Trinity Force is now completed for King and Teleport at the ready. Oh, a dangerous time for DRX. Yeah, Frog doesn't have TP. I think they just let this go. I think this is the correct move. It's just a second Dragon. It is a Cloud Soul. Oh, uh, Showmaker as well, being able to just stand over a wall with a Control Ward there, knowing that there's nothing that they can do to stop you from uh, just sort of distorting in. King and now going to get speared here as Sponge comes in. Good flash. Solar Flare still going to get the stun. And Kingen is very much going to die. Pounce comes forward. And Sponge going to collect his happy birthday kill. Uh, it's going to be responded with an outer turret being taken down here in this mid lane. But the tower does also fall in bot. And I believe that was first turret blood being... Throw. Well, I, I don't know. Um, what is the thing that isn't a penguin, a house, or a fossil? I feel like those are... An apple. He probably can't throw an apple. Throws boomerangs. Oh, yes. As does. Teddy. Oh, he's throwing a boomerang at Ash. And Teddy gonna flash over the wall, and Lucid is just going to break his heart. That is going to be a kill. First one for D. So plus. I think a bit of a misplay there, and a summoner burn for no real gain. Uh, DRX now stuck up at the top lane. Tenshi looking to punish King and again and get this tower. He is mini not has no flash. Well, he does at least have a turret for now. Kellen's moving in. Boomerang connects onto Sponge. He's going to pounce his way out, but D plus just going to keep their heads in it. They're going to take down this dragon. That is going to be cloud number one. Bit of extra movement as King and hopping in. Looking for Sponge. Gets the speed up from the hyper proc and is just going to back away. Close up, you kind of like distortion and snap back while the Q's firing to, to get out above that range, you know, to, to proc the passive effect. Yeah. Well, let's see whether he can proc it as his turret is just going to explode. Looks like no is going to be the answer. It's aiming, arcane shifting forward. We've seen that one before. Hit by the arrow. There's the cleanse, baby. That's all we're talking about. Kellen going to take a spear to the back of the head. That is an arcane shift forward you can only do if you have cleanse. I'll tell you that much. Yep. So he can't do it for an extended period of time now because the cleanse was no. Try and stop him. Yeah. Well, head by Pulp onto Pleta, who is just going to return the favor with a stun. Not sure about this one. He has been ignited. There is the ulti. Just Kellen biding his time, waiting for an opportunity as old Teddy. Oh no, Lucid, his worst nightmare, is going to land on him once again. True Shot Barrage are only going to hit onto Frog, but they have them right where they want them. He tries to mitigate the CC, throws them what? over. That all out was so sick, but the Pulverize is even better from Kellen. The double kill comes in now from Showmaker, he does immediately die there, thereafter, but I still think an absolutely sick play from D+, and a sick play from DRX. That frog just completely um, saved. But, but just a lot of mobility, abilities interacting with Cassantail. It looked very goofy, but that <laughs> is how it's intended. That's how we've seen it work before. Just that was a very egregious example. Oh, Arrow comes... Oh, okay, aiming. The Arcane shifted sideways, not forward. As Kellen, not going to be so lucky. There's a headbutt back. Kellen still down to 50%. Pleta is just eradicated, though, and Kingen is right in there. He is just going to get taken down. Kind of a freebie. Yeah, That's still one for one, I guess. Teddy, oh my goodness. Okay, that was almost just a one shot. Need the healing from Sponge to come in and the honey fruit. It's still a good trade for DRX overall because Kellen is so low and King is dead. Kellen is looking for a flank angle. Yeah, and Yahoo actually just standing his ground. The buster shot does come in. He's almost yeah. just dead, but he is going to survive at least for now. Still, DRX cannot fight, and that is going to be Soul Point going over to D. Showmaker really taking matters into his own hands. True shot barrage is going to hit Teddy. Not Yahoo, who back to the right spot. And I feel like Showmaker is so hard to deal with right now. They don't have that an easy... That is going to be a big spike. Talking about spikes, of course, Aiming does have his now secured, as well as a cheeky Brutalizer on top as Kingen. All right, he's just going to find Sponge and destroy him. That's uh, that's his birthday present right there. Beautiful flank angle comes in. The hidden knot 
ends up catching out the Nidalee, and now no jungler. T-Rex have to what? try and approach this and find a good fight. King and just jumped over a wall and won the game, basically. Yep. That was pretty impressive. Okay. Let's see whether DRX can do anything about this. They don't really want to give it away for free. Xenoblade going to go wide. The arrow is going to be absorbed by the cow who just presses the I don't care button. They take themselves to Baron. Kellen goes down relatively low. Kingen does have that Mega now relatively available. Another great all out here from Frog. And that is a very dead Lucid. But that is the only thing that they get. The Baron's still going over to D+. Plus. I think they're still pretty happy. And a lot of Cassante interactions this game. Lucid not learning from the last one and tries to flash when he's already been ulted and ends up getting caught anyway. Uh, and now D-Rex might be able to get this second tower here. They have a lot of tower taking pressure. Yeah, Trisha Barrage does do a lot of damage to Teddy. You can see Showmaker, he really wants it. He's like, if I had a death cap, I would definitely go in. But you know, All things considered that they just lost That's their jungle for DRX. The Baron power play is still in the negative. They're about even in gold. They are down in dragons, but they keep the hopes alive. Well, Kellen is going to absorb even more CC. As he looks to try and turn it, but gets the flash out from Pleader instead. He has to flash immediately away. The Ignite ticking, ticking, ticking. And the bomb is just going to take the kill. Atlas, you silly boy. You've got to stay a little bit more observant. Missed that one as the boomerang going to fly over the top as well. D-plus still looking for it, but now they are down a member. And this Baron is not going to be doing too much. It's already a negative 700. As Pleader going to get poked out. Frog dashes away from Lucid. And Kingen looking to try and force something here. And Showmaker dashes in, finds Frog, but otherwise not too much. Some health bars getting chunked down. Teddy's still a full health, though. That is a big deal. Frog absorbing, absorbing, absorbing. And uh, won't be able to do that one forever. Is now Showmaker looking for that battle. Oh! Oh, where'd he go? There goes, uh, uh, I don't know. Um, that was that death cap he was waiting for. And uh, worked pretty well. He just put Yahoo into the death cap, I guess. And yeah. didn't disappear. Aren't you supposed to take things out of the witch's hat? Well, or the, the, he has to the put hat? them in first to take them out later. Ah, got it. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Yep, and Yahoo, I mean, you could say that he could flash, but I don't think he expected to get one shot there. This LeBlanc is very strong right now. A massive issue for DRX to deal with. I want to uh, give this one up. They're setting up. Yeah. The poke is starting to connect. And I feel like in these fights, DRX have actually looked a little bit better. It's playing the map that has been pretty hard. True Shot Barrage is going to fly over. Decent mitigation, but now Sponge kind of out of the fight. Another all-out opportunity as they get rid of the cow. But starting the fight without Kellen, that has been the way they steal it. But that's a gigantic gnar from Kingen. Frog going to be taken out first. Pleader going to be second on the menu. A double kill for aiming. As now Yahoo's trying to keep them busy. But he takes a fossil to the face and is turned into one himself. All right, Lucid just trying to beat Cassante. This is going to be his answer. Trying to break the hearts of two at once. And he's going to get, be able to get the first on his birthday. And it's a double to come down for Lucid. There's an ace. And they were pretty mad that they had their Cloud Soul taken away from them. And their answer to it might just be winning the game. And it ends up being a Dragon secured for DRX. But the engage from Kingen wins them the fight. Beautiful play there. And Deep Plus should just be able to close it out. The spawn time is way too long. Platter, you can't defend this solo, especially with reinforcements coming in. Oh man, I tell you what, Kingen, when he's on, he is so incredibly on. Doesn't quite find that, that ulti, but that doesn't matter because this Nexus is dead. First, he finds the Baron, then he finds... These were the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.